Computers and the Internet have changed the way we live and learn. We work, shop, communicate, share pictures and video, research information, and play games online. Many schools and districts have embraced the new technologies and are using them to improve education services and instruction. Today we're going to talk about your responsibility as teachers and administrators for student privacy when using online educational resources. Because the fact is, no matter where student records reside, they should still be protected. Let's take a look at the ways teachers, administrators, and staff can practice good data management when using online educational apps and services. Then, we'll talk about how you can protect the privacy and security of student data when using these types of services in your schools and districts. Before using educational apps or services, it is important to learn about the variety of federal, state, and local laws impose requirements and restrictions on how student data can be used and the conditions under which it can be shared with application developers or online service providers. Let's examine some key privacy laws that may apply. The first is the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, or FERPA. FERPA is a federal law which protects the privacy of student education records. Most public schools and districts are required by law to comply with FERPA. Simply put, FERPA restricts how PII, that's Personally Identifiable Information, from education records may be released without the parent's consent. FERPA may allow schools to disclose certain information, like student's name, date of birth, or photos, without consent as directory information. This is often done in school yearbooks and athletic programs. A school may provide directory information without consent to third parties, such as service providers, only if they publicly notify parents about its directory information policy. This notice has a number of requirements, like it must state what personal information is considered directory information, and that parents have a right to opt out. But be careful, because parents can opt out at a later time, so using directory information with online services can be tricky. Another FERPA provision that permits PII from education records to be disclosed to third parties without consent is the school official exception. Schools often use this exception to outsource IT and other institutional functions. It is sometimes advantageous to outsource school functions, to save money or to get better services. If your school outsources under FERPA's school official exception, you must make sure that the third party is providing a service or function that the school would otherwise provide itself, and you must be sure to retain direct control over the use and maintenance of the information you disclose. 